Uh, greetings, fellow grade tens. It is still Mr. Joy here. Welcome back to Back to Basics. Look, we are still looking at our functions, and these uh it is still uh you know our November. This is November 2023 paper, right? This is November 2023 paper, right? Now let's see. So in this particular uh you know question, we are given now firstly that you are having an exponential function of t of x is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of negative x subtract 4. Now, they want us firstly to write down what is going to be the range of this graph, right? Now, and when we speak of the range, remember here, uh, we are saying where is our graph going to start and where is our graph going to end, right? So now, from, from this, what you are having here, this is going to be our asymptote, right? This is our y asymptote, which means now, the, the graph that you are going to have, in whatever case that you are having, uh, this graph, your y must always be greater than negative 4. Not again, right? Because it must be greater than this, uh, what? This uh, y turning point, or rather this y asymptote. Are we fine, right? So which means this is going to be where y is greater than negative 4. That's going to be the first point that you are having in here, right? Now, secondly, now in 4.2.1, now they want us to find out what is going to be the x uh, intercept of the graph of t, right? So which means now whenever we are looking for x-intercept, we are saying for x-intercept, you let y be equals to zero, right? So which means this is same as what? Uh, this is going to be same as uh, 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of negative x uh, minus 4 is equals to zero, right? Now what else then are you going to do now from here? You're going to take the, uh, the for this side, which means here you're going to left with 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of negative x is equals to 4. And after that, now, what else then now can we do from here? We can divide by 2 firstly, divide by 2 firstly, so that we can cancel these two, right? So which means here we are left with 2 to the power of negative x is equals to 2, right? And now that you're having powers of the same base, right? Uh, now here, this is same as what? We can then drop our, you know, our exponent to say negative x, is going to be same as one, right? And when negative x is going to be same as one, therefore we multiply by negative both sides, which means our x is going to be same as negative one. All right, again, right? So basically now that's what you are going to have here as the value of your x turning point, right? Now for y turning point, now this is going to be same as y is equals to two multiplied by two to the power of, now where there is x, you write zero now, uh, minus four. I would together because for y intercept, you always let your x to be equal to zero. Are we fine? So, which means now this is same as y is the cost. When you plug this, uh, what is it that you are going to have now from here? Let's see. This is going to be same as your negative two. I would together because this is same as uh, whatever that you are going to get. This is going to be as your y here, it's going to be same as negative two. All right. Are we fine? Now, that's what you are going to have here in this particular question. So, just let me just write this one here. We said this is going to be same as uh what? This is going to be same as negative one and zero. And then we said this one is going to be same as zero and negative two, right? Now let's make up our space so that we can see in terms of what is it that we are required to do in the following question, right? Now, the next question is that now they want us to sketch the graph of T where we show clear indication of our what? Uh, uh, of all our intercepts. Now, what is that you're going to do now from here? Firstly, we are going to start here, right? So if, let's say, we draw this line here, right? Say we draw like this here. This is our Cartesian plane. This is also our Cartesian plane here, right? Now, what else then now are we going to have here? Now, they want us to draw the graph here. Now, uh, now for, for an example, just for background check, now, I want us to have an understanding that whenever the value of your uh, whenever the value of your a, right, the, the, whenever your value of your a, it is, uh, firstly, when your value of your a is greater than zero, right, it's greater than one, rather, right, uh, when your value of your a is greater than one, your graph is always going to be slanted in this position, it's going to be moving like this, right, however, your ex in your exponential graph, if your value of your a uh, is in between, right, if your value of your a is in between, 
is in between negative one and one. Now, your graph is going to be slanted in this position. Now, if you want to find out what is going to be the value of our A, in this case, we are going to just look at this one that has the X, right? Can you see that this is same as two to the power of negative X, right? And if I want to write this correctly, now this is same as what? This is same as one over two to the power of X. This is one and the same thing, two to the power of negative X and one over, uh, and one over two to the power of X. These are one and the same thing, right? So what else then now are we going to do now from here? Which means now we are going to start and say, look, now uh, from here, uh, we are firstly having our asymptote, right? We are having our asymptote and our asymptote here, it's going to be same as what? We said it's negative four, which means now we are going to come back here at negative four and we are going to draw our asymptote, right? Now this is going to be negative four, which is going to be our asymptote. Now we said, what is the x-intercept for an example? We said our x-intercept is negative one, right? Negative one, it's somewhere here, negative one and zero. And then, right, yes, this is negative one. And we said our, our y, it's when you y, it's negative two. And our negative two for y, it's going to be here, right? So which means now from here, this is same as the graph is going to be something like this. graph is something like this right right and why is it that right can you see that even the value of your a here indeed it is in between negative one and what and one because half is uh, you find your half in between negative one and one right so that's why the graph is going to be slanted in this position right so basically now that's how you are going to uh, draw your exponential graph right i'm hoping that this one it is making sense right now let's move swiftly along to the last question. Now what is required of us in the last question now? They say, describe the transformation where t of x is positive, right? So what happened here? Remember uh, your graph, your, or your original graph of t of x was given by two multiplied by two to the power of uh, negative x subtract four. Now what is the new graph that you are given in here, right? Uh, now the new graph that you are given in here it's what this is same as two multiplied by two uh, to the power of x. Now, firstly, so what happened here, which means, uh, firstly, can you see that your x here was negative and then your x here is positive, right? So which means, firstly, uh, it is, now if you change your value of your x, this graph is reflected uh, about uh, the x-axis, right? This is uh, our, about our, uh, what y axis right? This is reflected about our y axis firstly, right? Axis, yes. Because if you can see here, the value of your y is negative. Now, number two, can you see that here it's m as minus zero, but here you are having you are having negative four, right? So which means now this graph is also, uh, it's going to be also shifted, right? This is shifted. How many units it's shifted? How many units it's shifted for? units upward right because to get zero here it's same as plus four can you see that negative four plus four gives you zero right so which means this graph is shifted uh four units upward right four units upward and it makes sense right because if you want to take the negative four and make it zero you need to move this four units upward so that it can be here how it's good so basically now that's how you are going to do this particular uh question right so i am hoping that all of this makes sense and you can be in a position to what to answer all of these questions right thank you very much for listening